What's up guys? Ruck and Scott here. I'm back to continue a five part series of five places to ride while in Okinawa, Japan. If you haven't checked out the last video, I'll link it in the description. Be sure to check that out. These aren't in any particular order. So when I say number one, two, three, four, five, um, these are just five great places. There's many, many more. And even if you're not in Okinawa, Japan, you can still check out these videos and enjoy the vlog. So I've gained a few subscribers and views. So thank you to everybody who watches and subscribes. You guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you're new or you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, check out some of the other videos and stay for updated. So today we are going to be heading out to uh, Hane, Haneji Dam and that is out past Nago. So what we're doing is we're gonna we're in Okinawa um, kind of the city right now anybody who's here uh, knows where it's at I'll uh, I'll put up the route and you guys can check that out and as always in the description I put where um, where you can find it so we're gonna take uh, road 58 all the way up into Nago and then we're gonna cut over on 329 a little bit so like I said uh, here's the route we're taking right here so you can see that and uh, the Hanedi Jam is uh, was actually uh, started uh, planning in the late 1960s by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, in 1981, construction on the river, diversion tunnels began, but the dam itself wasn't uh, completed and opened and operational until 2004. So there's a little bit of history behind it. Um, I'll put some uh, history in the link as well in the description so you guys can see that uh, but mainly we're riding out there uh, because it's some beautiful scenery on the way there and some beautiful scenery when we get there so stay tuned check it out and uh, hope you guys enjoy the weather is beautiful today holy crap and there's a ton of traffic So I bought this new shirt. Not only is it sweet because it matches my bike, it's red, but it says Honda on it. Double cool. And it's got a big Honda logo on the uh, on the front. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. But it's like a, uh, a mesh type deal. So it's really cool when it's hot out, you get some nice airflow. It's not quite hot out yet, but it's getting there. And I got the new gas cap finally. Look, I don't have that old piece of crap anymore that was all ugly. So I should note one thing. You can obviously make it there much quicker by taking the expressway right into Nago. But I don't for two reasons. Number one reason is we're just going here for the, the nice ride. And then you miss half of it. You miss going by the water, some nice roads. So kind of defeats the purpose. Number two is the ruckus isn't allowed on the expressway because it's registered as a 49cc so I can't take it on the expressway. But my last video I rented a 2017 Honda Rebel and I rode up there to the observatory with my girlfriend so that I could take the expressway but I didn't now what is kind of nice is you take the ex you take a go through town on the way up there enjoy the scenery take your time make the extra stops rest get some drinks um, you know get some lunch whatever don't kill yourself getting up there enjoy the ride and then you get to your destination, enjoy it, and then you can just haul back on the way on the expressway. Cut your return time and a third. So, and actually that's what we did. Um, we were tired for one. For two, we had to get the bike back because it was a rental. And three, it was warm, kind of like today, but it's still not summertime. 
so when the sun goes down the temperature drops quite a bit and we weren't dressed for cold weather so we didn't want to be up in Nago on a bike and then the sun goes down and we're cold as hell because I already started getting a little chilly when I was there Is my camera even on yeah all right we're good sorry I always get this fear that I'm talking to nothing I mean I am talking to nothing but I'm talking to someone at least I'm talking to all you guys so anyways yeah so and that's not a bad idea if you can take the expressway back is go through town on the way up there and then hit the expressway back I'm stuck making the hour and 40 minute trip both ways but hey it's all right it's a nice ride and I was in Hawaii for two weeks and the weather started getting nice and I was watching some other people's moto vlogs and then I was like man I really really want to ride so I came back and I'm still on vacation for a few days I'm like you know what I'm gonna ride so I don't mind the extra ride I don't know if you guys can see it but don't mind the speedo let's just pretend like it's off guys can see but there's like a boat out there it looks almost like a pirate ship I mean there's a lot of boats out there but who's somebody's parasailing that one looks like a pirate ship that's kind of cool Let's see what kind of shots we can get but first let me take a selfie ah! chose one of this places as the five places to ride while in Okinawa, Japan. like and share this video also don't forget to hit the subscribe button just go ahead and mash it right now because uh there's gonna be more videos to come so don't forget to check back so subscribe hit that little bell in the top right hand corner and uh you're good to go